Hey everyone, Brett here from Canto Mounts, and today we're going to go over the step-by-step -step process of how to install a TV mount into a steel stud wall. Most apartment buildings and office spaces are built using steel studs for one main reason, fire safety. Steel studs are not flammable and they help to slow the spread of fire in case of an emergency. Most TV mounts on the market are designed to be installed in either wooden studs or concrete. But today we're going to show you how easy it is to mount your TV into steel studs. For the most part, installing a mount into steel studs requires the exact same tools as you would need to install into wood. Today we're going to need a drill, a half inch drill bit, a tape measure, a stud finder, a level, a pencil, a socket set for fine adjustments, a screwdriver, packing tape, and painter's tape. Before purchasing your mount, be sure what material you have behind the wall. If you're unsure, contact a professional. A TV mount that's designed for steel stud installation is almost identical as one designed for wooden stud installation. The only difference is going to be the hardware to attach the bracket to the wall. Today we're going to install the LX600SW from Canto. It comes with four toggler bolts to ensure a safe and secure installation into steel studs. The first step in the installation process is to figure out how high you want your TV to be. Check out the link in the description below for a video tutorial that walks you through the steps to figure out the best height for your situation. We've already worked with our client and we found the height for the TV center here, so we can move on to the next step. The next step is to install the H-frame to the TV. So we're going to go ahead and install the vertical arms to the TV. I'm using a spacer here because you can see there's just a ridge on the TV and the spacer is just going to bring the arm just slightly out. Once you've installed the vertical arms, you can go ahead and install the horizontal bracket. All right, now that we've got the H-frame on the TV, we can go ahead and mount the bracket to the wall. Next, we're going to use the stud finder to find where these steel studs are. In most applications, your steel studs are gonna be about 16 inches apart, so that's a good place to start. Next, we're going to use the level to make sure that the marks that we just put on the wall are level before drilling. Now that we've determined that the marks are level, we can go ahead and put the wall template on the wall. I'm going to take my level again and just mark where I want to drill the lower holes. If you have packing tape around the house, you can use it to cover the mark where you're going to drill to keep the wall template flush against the wall. Before you start drilling, make sure that the dust catcher is extended. That way, once you start drilling the holes, all of the drywall dust ends up in here and not on your floor. It's time to drill. All right, now that we're done drilling, we can remove the wall template. So to install the toggler bolt, what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert the metal end into the hole that you just made. And you're gonna use the two clips here 
to straighten it. And once these two align, it means that on the inside, the toggler bolt is extended. So if you see here, when I push that forward, it makes it flush in the back of the wall. When I turn it, it makes it so that you can extend it. So as I just push this in and straightened it, it's gonna catch the steel stud behind the wall. So once I've got this lined up and I can see that this is flush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push to extend the mounting bracket all the way into the hole so it's nice and tight on the toggler bolt. And then what you do is you just wiggle, get that nice and tight. And then what you do is you just break off the toggler bolts and there's your mounting anchor to install the mount. So I'll go ahead and do this on the other four. So straighten it out to install it. Now that we've got the toggler bolts installed, we can go ahead and hang the bracket. You can use a drill to install the toggler bolts, but only go about 90% of the way to avoid stripping them. Finish it off using a hand tool. All right, next step is to hang the TV. Get a friend to help you just because TVs can be big and awkward. Now that the TV is hung on the wall bracket, we can go ahead and secure it. I'm only going to tighten the nuts about 90% of the way, make the final horizontal adjustments to make sure that the TV is level, and then finish tightening the nuts. So before I tighten the nuts at the back, I'm just going to make sure the TV is level. Perfect. So once you've hung the TV and you've secured the bolts, you can go ahead and route your cables through the handy cable management clips. This gives you a nice clean look and doesn't have cables all over the place. Once you've hung the TV, secured it in place and leveled it off, you can use the fine adjustments to pan, swivel and tilt your TV into the perfect location in your house. We hope you found this video informative and helpful and gives you the confidence to mount into your steel studs. For more information on Canto Mounts, check out our YouTube channel or visit our website at cantomounts.com. I'm Brett from Canto. Thanks for watching.